Hey everyone, I have a bit of a late night video here for you guys, uh, but before I get into it, I gotta remind you we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. If you want to enter that giveaway, head down to the description and or the pinned comment. Uh, and good luck, we pick the winner at the end of the month. Alright, let's get into this. Uh, Grezzo, do you guys remember who Grezzo is? Uh, they have done a ton of work on Zelda games over the years. Almost exclusively with remakes, although they actually were the primary development studio behind a unique Zelda game called Triforce Heroes. Uh, but yeah, they've done a ton of stuff. Uh, things like A Link Between Worlds, uh, they helped work on that. Uh, Triforce Heroes, those are the two unique ones. But then Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, and they actually did a, like a really heavy lifting role uh, they didn't do it alone, but a very he heavy lifting role on what essentially was a remastered version of Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. Some consider a remake of Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch just because it's such a massive art overall. But whatever you want to call it, they were heavily involved with that. And now Grezzo is doing something that they have done several times in the past, and every time a post like this comes up, it certainly seems they are working on a new Zelda game. Now, we don't know if this is just another remake, of course, because, hey, look, this is the company that remakes Zelda games. Uh, so you, know, you can kind of throw out there any number of things, whether it's in A Link to the Past remake or you're looking at Triforce Heroes. Heck, maybe uh, those Phantom Hourglass uh, stuff that we saw getting registered out in Australia, that trademark. Are they, like, rebooting that? For a Zelda collection or an individual release? Who really knows? Except for Grezzo themselves. Uh, but this all comes up because they are actually hiring a couple positions at the company. Uh, one of them is a programmer, uh, an effects designer, and then a UI designer. Uh, and in the hiring uh, profiles they put out there, they mention they're going to be working on a game that is medieval and stylish. Uh, and that the programmer themselves is going to have to be able to use Unity, Visual Studio, Git, Redmine, and Jenkins. Uh, obviously, the person is going to have the experience with Unity and C Sharp. And they say that person, uh, the programmer in particular, has to like games and can great greet things or create things, I think is what they mean, uh, with the player mindset. Uh, they mentioned their role is going to be more than a simple programmer, as they're going to be involved with the planning team. Uh, other job listings, it's a pair. It's the, the other job listings essentially tell you that it's not going to be one of those photorealistic games, and Zelda is not a photorealistic game. Uh, so, this is just one of those things where it really opens the door to a lot of possibilities on what this game could be. Clearly, it's sound, you know, you're, you're medieval, you know, not photorealistic. You you really do think this is Zelda related. Now, Grezzo, to their credit, has made other games beyond Zelda, but they've really been focused on Zelda games over the last decade. So it just kind of seems like this is probably another Zelda project. And, you know, whether or not it's going to come out this year, I don't know, uh, because they're hiring someone who's going to be on the planning team, but it doesn't mean they're not already super far, ahead, you know, into this uh, game already so who really knows uh, it also could be a game for 2022 there's actually been like something zelda releasing basically every year last year was going to end up being the first year in a long time there wasn't something zelda coming out and then they did us with age of calamity right at the end of the year so just this doesn't mean it's this is a game for this year you know as much as we think there's a collection pack of some sort whether it's a wind waker phantom Hourglass, spirit tracks collection whether it's a wind waker hg twilight princess hg ocarina of time that you know for those who don't know we didn't really talk about it much but ocarina of time and skyward sword were also both trademark registered uh very recently over in australia so it's kind of one of those hey look you know if we're gonna get phantom hourglass a little pub and these other games too, you know. So Skyward Sword, it would be a very simple game to put in HD. Motion controls still exist on the Switch, so you could literally port it straight up. Although you would presume they need to make it work in handheld mode and, and rework the controls for that, which you know people have already done on emulators. So with with button mapping and everything, so it's not an impossible feat. I just find it interesting. Uh, as for what I want Grezzle to be working on. To be honest, I want to see 
Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, and the Minish Cap brought back. Now, these are the Capcom trilogy of games, uh, because Capcom were the company that created these for Nintendo. But hey, Nintendo wholly owns them. So Capcom really probably isn't going to get in the way of those games getting redone, remade, remastered, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, There's also been, obviously, some people out there hoping that Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, could maybe get... Uh, you know, a boost in life uh, and bring that game back from the dead because it's widely considered one of the black sheep of the franchise. Although I think with Four Swords Adventures and Triforce Heroes out there, many consider those maybe a bit more black sheep than uh, (laughs) the Link to the Past. But I honestly just want to see any of these games brought back to full life. And this presumes that they're working on 2D. Obviously, we know they worked on Ocarina of Time 3D. And we know they worked on Majora's Mask 3D, and those were not 2D Zelda games. So maybe they're working on Breath of the Wild 2 for all we know. Maybe they're working on God knows what else. Uh, we know with Breath of the Wild, Nintendo brought everyone on. So Grezzo worked a little bit on Breath of the Wild. Monolith Soft had a team working on Breath of the Wild, and then you had the main Zelda team. So maybe they're just helping finish up Breath of the Wild 2. Like, there's... A lot of different directions you can go when you hear Grezzo is involved because Grezzo seems to have their hands all over a lot of different Zelda projects. And the thing is, Grezzo's an independent company. <laughs> They're not owned by Nintendo. Now, the other independent company that uh, was making Nintendo games for a while that wasn't owned by Nintendo was out of Canada, and that company was bought up. Of course, probably the team that made Luigi's Mansion 3. But it's, it's kind of like Nintendo recently bought that company. Is Grezzo going to be bought next? Because Nintendo doesn't own them, but they seem to only ever work on Nintendo games, and they're working on Zelda games, and Link's Awakening actually sold really well, so uh, how are they going to be swept up eventually here be the next logical purchase for Nintendo? But that's, again, now we're just really spiraling up because... I don't know. The the Zelda fan in me is kind of like getting giddy here because, guys, we are eight days away from the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Now, no, I don't actually expect Nintendo to drop an announcement on the 35th anniversary of Zelda. I don't expect them to drop a trailer on the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Heck, I don't even expect them to put out a tweet about the 35th anniversary of Zelda. I think they're going to let Pokemon Company do its thing this month because the Pokemon Company has their own anniversary, the 25th anniversary going on, and they're going to be having a a week of celebration and doing their stuff. So I don't think Nintendo's going to try to overshadow any of that with Zelda right now. But the 35th anniversary of Mario came and went, and Nintendo originally didn't have anything going on then either. And then we started to think, man, are they not going to do anything with the 35th anniversary of Mario? And then, ba-bam, they hit us with that Mario Direct-style presentation. Super Mario 35, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, all that jazz. Obviously, you know, Bowser's Fury that just came out. It's one of those things that, yeah, maybe it didn't happen on the anniversary, but Nintendo still gave us something. And I think that's what's going to happen here with the 35th anniversary of Zelda is they're going to leave it alone because Pokemon's got their thing. But next month, could Nintendo start dropping some Zelda goodness announcements? Because reality is Nintendo doesn't have to celebrate the 35th anniversary on the 35th. They usually make it like a year-long celebration. Now, they made the Mario stuff like a four, five, six-month-long celebration. So that's what I think they're going to do with Zelda. I I think they're going to do something where it's like, hey, look, we're going to do like a Zelda presentation, and we're going to give you six months of Zelda, and we're going to cap it off with what we think is our best game, probably Breath of the Wild 2. So I'm just saying that, something Zelda's coming, so I get giddy because maybe Nintendo, you know, surprises me and decides the 35th anniversary is when they want to start dropping news, uh, but they're going to do something. I mean, they celebrated Donkey Kong a little bit, uh, they celebrated Fire Emblem's anniversary a little bit, uh, and Donkey Kong's had its, what, 40th anniversary this year? Something like that? Like, come on, Donkey Kong. Uh, so Nintendo has been celebrating celebrations a lot uh, and getting into that and taking advantage of the fact that us fans are excited about these anniversaries as well. So Grezzo working on something just really starts to tickle the fancy here, starts to get me a little giddy in my chair. I'm, I'm starting to get whew, a little hyped over here, just a, a little bit hyped. Now, if you wonder why my, my voice might sound a little bit more subdued this video instead of me going nuts, uh, I'm currently at a hotel room. Uh, nothing fancy, no, 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 no problems, no traveling really going on. 
needed to get my kids out of the house. Uh, so we're staying at a, at a hotel, um, and just getting a night out of, getting a night away from home. Uh, so I'm sitting here recording with my blue Yeti microphone, which is, it's, it's a quality microphone. It's what I use for when I'm on the go. Um, I don't bring my whole audio set up with, I could, I just don't because it's a little <laughs> crazy trying to set that all up. Although it's not as bad now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Enough rambling. I needed to get this late night video in because I'm too excited to wait for the morning. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.